Hi everybody, welcome back to part 2 of my travel walking tour through the CERN. If you haven't seen the first part, please check it out by clicking on the link in the description below or on the card in the upper right hand corner. I'm continuing my walk with the historic Kapellbrücke, the Chapel Bridge, certainly Lucerne's most famous landmark, followed by a great walk along the river promenade, the Spreuer Bridge, the Corn Market, the Hofkirche Basilica, and the swans of Lake Lucerne and the Schwanenplatz. My next destination is the Kapellbrücke, the Chapel Bridge, which is probably one of the most famous buildings in the city and the bridge and tower among the most photographed scenes in all of Switzerland. The iconic 14th century wooden bridge is best known for its tall stone water tower and restored paintings in the roof of the interior. This winding bridge runs diagonally for 200 meters and is something you can't miss even if you wanted to. It's right in the middle of it all conveniently helping you cross the river too. In the ceiling, you can view 30 triangular 17th century paintings depicting events from Lucerne's history. There used to be many more before a fire unfortunately destroyed most of the bridge in 1993. The Lucerne government did a fantastic job in restoring the bridge, leaving some of the destroyed paintings visibly burned to commemorate the tragic fire. Not only is the bridge an amazing landmark in its own right, but it also offers stunning views of its surroundings. On one side, you can see the old town along the banks of the River Reuss with the Nadelware Dam, and on the other side lies the vast Lake Lucerne. Back on the old town side of River Royce, take a walk along the riverside with all the cafes and restaurants and head towards the other famous medieval bridge Le Chirin has to offer, the Spreuer Bridge. It is located at the western corner of the old town.
go past the Nadelwehr Dam, which put an end to the river's history of floods in 1852 by maintaining the level of the lake. It's an ingeniously simple system involving wooden planks, the needles, that are added or removed to regulate the flow of the river. The bridge is actually much smaller than the chapel bridge, so it will not be as crowded. It was built in 1406 and mimics the design of chapel bridge, featuring a roof and truss design. But what makes this bridge so interesting are a series of 45 original paintings of the Dance of Death. They were painted between 1616 and 1637 by painter Kaspar Meglinger and his students. This is the largest example of a totem dance or Dance of Death cycle known to exist. Back on the other side of River Royce, I'm continuing my walk past Jesuit Church, heading back in the direction of the train station. But before I leave Lucerne for the day, I want to visit the Hofkirche and the swans at Schwanenplatz. Lucerne is such a cool city, there's so much to explore. You definitely need a day to do that. If you have two days, that's better because then you can also go up to Mount Pilatus. Today it's a little bit cloudy, so uh, I'm not gonna go up there. But here down in the city, it's sunny, so I'll stay down here.
it's hard to miss the corn market at the Renaissance Old Town Hall, built at the start of the 17th century with its beautiful arcades and the ground floor. The joining tower dates back to the 14th century. In the Kapellplatz is the oldest church in Lucerne, the St. Peter's Chapel, built in 1178, but renovated to its present form in the 18th century. The Hofkirche, Lucerne's medieval Romanesque basilica, was burned down during the Thirty Years' War in the 17th century. While the war was still raging in the 1630s, the city built its new church and was one of only a few churches to be erected north of the Alps in that period. The architecture is in the late Renaissance style, but there are elements from the original church, like the pair of towers and some medieval and Renaissance ornamentation in the interior.
Spalenplatz is a square in Lucerne Old Town, just across the bridge from the train station. The square is located right next to Lake Lucerne, where you can frequently spot swans enjoying themselves. And that's of course where it got its name. But don't feed them. It's not good for their health, something I learned while visiting Lugano. But that's for another video. Plan a whole day to visit all of the Sern and its old town and maybe another day to go up to Mount Pilatus. What is really nice is that most of the landmarks can be visited free of charge, the museums being a notable exception to that though. It's also worth noting that restaurants and cafes are on the expensive side in the Sern, like everywhere else in Switzerland. Check out my video on savings tips for Switzerland, linked below. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my little tour through Lucerne. If you did, uh, please also check out my other videos on Switzerland and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.